Okay, so we're back. We're gonna look at the outlet piping. So I come out of my pump, divert to the right. I actually have a little uh, temperature measurement device probe there to uh, control my hot tub. Comes across here, goes into this contraption here, which is a control valve that allows me to direct flow into my sand, uh, not my sand filter, my diatomaceous earth filter. So it takes all the particulate out, that uh, cylindrical brown thing. So it can flow through there. It can bypass that altogether, or it can backwash uh, debris from the filter to clean out the filter and it comes out this little tube here. So normally water comes in from the pump. It goes into, I'm pretty sure it goes in the top here goes through the filter, comes out the bottom, back through this valve, and out through this outlet side. Okay, so right now I am in filtration mode, and you can see here I have a pressure on the inlet of my filter of about 15 and a half, 16 PSI. All right, so that means I'm seeing about a PSI and a half of pressure drop between my outlet of my pump where I measure my other pressure and my filter. Um, so I have a little bit of elevation, probably about a foot to it, a foot and a half of elevation that's going to account for some of that pressure drop. And then I have this valve here and this little bit of piping as well that's accounting for that pressure drop. So after I come out of my filter, I go through some piping. I make an elbow up. That's just a little union. It's a fitting that I can unscrew to disassemble my pipe in the winter. And then I come to another three port valve. So this three port valve is actually set up that my flow comes in the single port and then it can either go left or it can go right. Right now it's going the direction that that handle right here is pointing, which is to the left. If I divert this the other direction over here, I'm not going to do it because I'll shut off my flow. It will send the water to my uh, heater over there. Um, so normally I bypass that, I come over here, I come up, I have a check valve. So this check valve here allows water to flow upward through it. It does not allow water to come downward. That little kind of pinkish, orangish thing in there is a little flapper that's spring loaded. There's a little torsional spring. So when the flow is reduced, that will close up. And if I turn off my pump, that will go closed and it will not allow any water to flow downward. I come up here to a T. To the right of my T is my return from my hot tub. So right now, no water is coming back from that direction because I'm not allowing any to go into my hot tub. And so what's happening is my water is coming up through my check valve and it's making a left branch flow out of this T. It goes through a chlorinator, which is just a little siphon that sucks some chlorine out of here and then it goes into another three-way valve. This three-way valve allows water to go through my fountain loop, and this is the loop we're gonna actually use for the experiment. Or it comes this way, goes around an elbow, comes to another three-way, uh, three-port valve. This one splits the flow so that I can go back to the pool, or if I go to the left, I go to the hot tub. So when I close this, so right now I'm 100% back to the pool. When I come this way, I am 100% to the hot tub. And again, as I travel to the hot tub, I have another check valve on that line. It goes up, over, gives me a little head clearance there so I can get stuff underneath. Elbow, and then another valve, and it goes underground underneath my pool deck over to the hot tub.